Grow Rich, Building Your Freedom to Prosperity Hello, I'm Christopher, welcome to my channel. First of all leave your like and subscribe to my channel to continue receiving the videos automatically and for YouTube to understand that this content is useful to other people. So let's go. Do you consider yourself financially free? Do you consider that you have the life you want, achieved what you dreamed of, acquired what you wanted, went where you liked and fulfilled the expectations and projects that came to your mind and heart? There is what is rightly called the poverty mentality or scarcity mentality, and also the financial thermostat or bar your mind is not able to cross, and it is the reason for the lack of abundance manifested in life. Material How to know if you are of poor mentality? Thoughts have a huge influence on our life and the results we present to the world, that's why it is said that wealth is created by the mind. The study of how thoughts affect human behavior is called psychology, which studies exactly what causes people to exhibit certain behaviors. With regard to the theme of prosperity, many metaphysical authors today teach how to improve financially from changes in the way of thinking. Many people who consider themselves spiritual, for example, conceive of money as something from the material world, which does not buy happiness, which brings out the worst in everyone, etc. These concepts alone are already obstacles to prosperity. In fact, there is no separation between the spiritual world and the material world, all things in the universe belong to the same creator. Everyone and everything is part of the same essence, the same great universal work. The secret of prosperity, or scarcity, lies in the mental programs that each individual has, inherited, culturally configured or assumed by diverse experiences from the sum of the previous ones. But mostly because of the misunderstanding of how the universe works, and because of urban tales that have never been verified. We are in the habit of identifying ourselves with the mind. Identification means that we are always thinking about something and believing what the mind tells us. As we are created with the habit that thinking is very good, we don't realize that the incessant noise in our head harms us. So we spend our days and nights thinking endlessly, repeating the same stories over and over again. Excessive thinking creates fear and suffering, overthinking can become a disease. The idea is not really to stop thinking altogether. Thinking is a human ability. What happens is that this ability is used without any control, causing unfavorable results. Wealth is then a product of thought, which we shape as we want, without realizing it. By creating thoughts of difficulty and poverty, lack of merit and ignorance of the divine laws of prosperity, we are building financial luck in thought. That's why I always try to correct your thought pattern with regard to prosperity, nurturing concepts of abundance and worthiness always with a lot of honesty and creativity. You will understand how the education you received, as well as the mentality of society and its beliefs are directly responsible for the fact that you still have not achieved what you want and that you may never achieve it in this life if you do not change your mind. Way of thinking. What thoughts keep you from receiving the wealth you deserve? Taking a ride on the prosperous thoughts I mentioned just now, it's interesting to remember some maxims that people say out there. Surely, you will identify some of them and even realize that you have already mentioned them at some point unconsciously. It is not possible to be rich and happy at the same time. My house slash car is my only asset. This is too expensive and I can't afford it. I will never be able to have that. I hate my job and I'm only in it for the money. I want to get rich so I don't have to work anymore. I'll only be rich if I die working. When poor save money, something breaks or someone gets sick. I will never be a rich person. In addition to all these cliches of common sense, another factor that considerably inhibits wealth and prosperity is procrastination. Leaving what must be done for tomorrow is a shot in the foot, which takes away all your personal power to achieve your goals, especially the financial ones. However, this is the fundamental impulse so that money is no longer a dilemma in your life. In this sense, even though you now know the thoughts of the rich that must be absorbed in your life, it is also important to have specialized help and knowledge. 
The most surprising thing you will discover in this work are the exercises capable of moving the universe in your favor. If you liked it, then share it with your friends and family who might be interested. Your opinion is very important to us. So leave your comment.